Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test server on the free to play account and we are looking at the brand new Hypogen hero. I believe it is Kykus or uh, Zykus or Zikus, Zykus. Um, let's go ahead and check out the ability. Very cool looking artwork, guys. Absolutely looks just like Maro, I, I guess. We know that Maro became a light bearer. I think ultimately he was a Hypogen hero, but let's go ahead and check out this cool looking cat. Burning Sight. Zykus teleports to the edge of his team side of the battlefield and attacks enemies within range with an infernal beam every 0.13 seconds over a duration of two seconds. So that's pretty quick. I, I mean, that that is a pretty quick for a two second duration. Each beam deals 200% damage and additionally reduces the haste of enemies suffering from Larthagy effect by 20 points for five seconds. Infernal Beams will prioritize enemies suffering from the effect of Larthagy, which I think is going to be another one of his abilities. He is immune to control effect and damage when using his ultimate. Very cool. That is going to address issues, of course, that we see with survivability in there. And then the Beams increase damage 230 and 260. Corros Corrosive Indolescence deals 250% damage to the enemy with the highest attack rating, which is great because that deals specific damage to one specific target, simultaneously marking them with one eye of lethargy. Once the enemy is marked with three eyes, its lethargic effects are triggered, resulting in the target losing 40 critical right, uh, rating points, as well as suffering 300 damage every three seconds, or suffering 200 damage every three seconds. That's a pretty cool ability. So it's gonna stack these marks on him. I'm hoping signature item or the furniture will give us the ability to stack it faster would be very cool to see. The effects are removed unless, wait, lethargy effects are removed when an affected enemy uses their ultimate ability. This ability prioritizes that enemies that have yet to trigger the effect. Wow, so it seems like the, the effects are going to be used when a hero used their ultimate ability, meaning she could pair perfectly. I can see it with um, with a couple heroes to cancel out ultimate abilities or delaying ultimates, um, reducing haste like Aziz to go ahead and cancel ultimate abilities would be very cool to work together because that second part of this ability would not be triggered on um, removing these effects. The Languid Eye unleashes a Languid Eye that deals 220 damage to all enemies that it passes through. If the eye strikes an enemy that is not suffering the effects of Larthurgy, if I can ever say it, they will begin to suffer the effect. Remember, the effect of that ability is going to be predominant when it comes to the ultimate ability. If the eye strikes an enemy already suffering from the effect, they will be dealt Additional damage equal to 15% of the max health, but not to exceed 600% of the attack rating. Then as you can see here with the engraving on level four, enemies already suffering from the effect are dealt damage equal to 20% of their max health, but shall not exceed 800% of his attack rating. That's pretty good to engrave. Final ability is hatred. When an enemy gets close to Zykus, Zykus proceeds to swipe them, knocking them backwards, causing them to be stunned for three seconds. So now he has a crowd control aspect in there as well. The effect affects, has their accuracy reduced by 120 for five seconds. Cooldown ability is instantly reset when his ultimate ability burning sight is cast. Wow, so that's pretty strong, guys. He is a celerity hero which is going to be awesome with the net, the abyssal expedition coming really soon guys um he will probably be a game changer then of course continuous damage but let's check out this signature item so the wings of larthagy uh the critical block rating is increased by 20 points and enemies suffering from larthagy deal 30 percent less damage just to him okay so not too bad Block rating is increased to 25 and 40%, 30 points and 50%. Larthagy effects are triggered when the target is marked by two eyes instead of three, meaning his plus 30 signature item is going to have to be a requirement versus doing every three. Um, signature item plus 30 is only going to be required two to be marked with that ability. Let's check out the furniture real quick, guys. At the start of battle, the enemy starting directly opposing Kaikis immediately starts with that. So now you don't even need two. It will start and there. The duration of ultimate ability burning sight is extended to three seconds instead of 
the two seconds. So I can see the furniture being a requirement for him as well. So very cool hero overall to see. And again, another ranger hero. So if you're a player that is building a lot of the ranger heroes, um, it's going to be very cool to see within the Abyssal Expedition. So let's check out his abilities. We'll check him out here first on the dummy because I want to see how these abilities look. So there is the eye. He is marked right there with his one point. And then, of course, it, it killed it. But there's his one point of Lar Larthagy. There's another one. Boom, killed him there. There's the ultimate ability. Wow, that is really, really cool looking, guys. So he flies to the sky, similar to Flora, to go ahead and use that ultimate ability. I want to see it once more. But it looks like, yeah, just massive AoE damage, guys. I can see some heroes paired with him, um, like Aziz, again, to cancel the signature item for the enemy using or ultimate abilities. Um, I can see him paired with anybody who is going to speed up this haste, guys. The faster he is going to put up these marks, um, the more damage it's going to do. He even killed everyone back here on the back line, which is kind of crazy. Let's check out this one, guys. A lot of times in here, I don't see the best layouts which he's not really moving forward. I like that he stays in the back. That is a very good combination right there. We'll throw Rowan in here. So we have a good combination. Um, we could put Rose with him, which would be, a, I think that would be kind of interesting to see. But Nara, we can grab over here for Leica and see exactly how this is going to go. So already got three marks pulled up there because remember, he's completely maxed out and he died already. That's a pretty quick death there. Very cool death animation, though. He goes back into that eye, guys. Let's see if maybe we can drop him in the middle. And it doesn't say Peggy can protect him in the middle, maybe. We can go for a different combination here. Because I know Peggy's going to come to the middle, so we got the guards up. I just want to see what he does. He's got a couple targets here marked up already, which is Awesome to see. He has the haste, which is what I wanted to run with Nemisu. I want to see his ultimate ability. There it is, guys. Raining fire down on everybody. Wow, that is going to be a very strong ultimate ability, guys. Especially any heroes that are going to make him ult faster. Um, heroes that are going to go ahead and increase his attack rating, his haste. A lot of very cool combinations that he is going to work with, guys. I want to see what his damage does here. There's that ultimate ability again. And remember, he is immune to crowd control and immune to damage when he does that ultimate ability, which is cool as well. So 5.04 million damage, guys. He is going to be very cool. I can see him again going into a couple different formations, guys. So that is Zykus. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the brand new Cele or, um, Hypogen Hero. Very cool to see. And as always, thank you guys for watching.